Hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. How are you today? Todo. Very good. Excellent. Okay, vamos a ver. I'm going to call attendance. Okay, Adriana, Marcela. Adriana, Marcela, no here? Nope. <coughs> Ana Alicia. Uh -huh. Carolina. Carolina Abigail. Claudia Carolina. Diego Batres. Present. Thank you, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher, uh, good evening. Uh, okay. I will be a listener today. Yeah, I was I was right checking your message right now. Okay. Thank Elvin. you. Elvin Alexander. Elvin. No here, Elvin. Great. Present teacher. Juana. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present. Jonathan. Present. No lo veo. Hola, hola. Vamos a ver. Jonathan. Hola. Jonathan. No lo miro. No lo miro, no lo miro. Quizás porque ah, ahí está. Present. Sí, hoy sí, hoy sí, ya. Ya se vio. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Ok. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. Nubia. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Beatriz. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Ok, Karen Stephanie. Elvin. Claudia Carolina. 
Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Ana. Adriana. Present teacher. Okay. Match. Okay, well, great to see you. How are you today? Hmm? Oh, Padre, vaya. He's very, very busy. <laughs> sí. Aquí estoy guachando que. Mm -hmm. Carla, ¿cuál? Carla. Carla Elena. Ah, no, Karen Elena. Karen Elena, Carla Patricia y Carla Lorena, Edwin y Joana. Bueno. Ok. Bueno. Hoy no es viernes. Si miren cómo están de ocupaditos ustedes. Bueno, pues. Good, na Good evening. Good evening, Anna. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Okay. Vamos a ver. Va, aquí I'm going to share the presentation. Today we are going to discuss two topics. One, el present continuous que es el que está en el manual. Y el otro tema que vamos a estar discutiendo es el, el verbo to be in the past, que es el tema que está presentado en la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Eh, así es que vamos a ver todos un poco. El present continuo, ustedes lo bueno es que ya lo manejan. Ya me demostraron que sí lo pueden. Ya lo hemos visto antes. Verdad, it's not new for you. And the other one, the, the simple past of the verb to be. I think we have used it before, I think. But anyway, we are going to work a little bit with it. Okay? But sure. I have a couple of questions for you. Check. What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Mm, make a list of qualities that a good employee needs to have. And the, and the next question says, what is the most essential quality to get a, a promotion? Yes, so, from the list of qualities that you have of a good employee, you choose like the most important, you say the essential one, right? Um, that is completely necessary to get a promotion. Mm -hmm. Vaya pues. I'm going to send you to the rooms. You're going to discuss. These are the questions from the manual, right? We are on the manual page, page 35. Page 35. Look at the questions on top. <clears throat> the ones we are going to discuss. Ready, ready? Yes, no. Estamos por allí. Vaya. I'm going to send you. So four. Ana, Edwin, José Alfredo, Karen, Janet, Carla, Patricia. Karen. Carla. Repeat, please. Uh, what is the Diana. number fresh? 35. Okay. Page 35. Carla Lorena, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye, my stomach. 
Va, ok. Lo mando en grupo grande para que de repente no me quede nadie solito. ¿Verdad? Vaya, allá vamos, chicos. Ready? Page 35. Yes. Yeah. Ok, there you go. I can see the invitation, teacher. I'm sorry. Give me a second, Anna, because when you enter, I don't know why you didn't, you were not added to a group. It's because uh, I log out the, inter, the class and mm. then ella solita me metió. Ah, ya, ya. Se desconectó y se volvió a conectar. Ok, ok. Solo déjeme ver qué grupo me queda pobre, por eso no lo Sí, 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 no se preocupe, yo espero. Para mandarlos a esos grupos pobres, porque de repente hay un grupo que cuando voy a ver, ups, nadie entró. <ríe> o, ha, o ha quedado así como que muy pobre. Va, aquí están. Va, ahí las dividí ya a las dos que era la otra, Carolina. Gracias, bye. Bueno. Claudia, Carolina, allí la mandé también al room number one. Try to join. Hey, teacher. No, la 35. Sí, 35. Oh. Hi, hi. Pues. I have I have, have a sense of Belushi. Hmm. Ah, how is it? How is it? What are you saying, Oscar? Have a sense. Have. How essential, essential. How essential of Belugi, Belung, Belung, Belugi. No. ¿De, de, de, de qué está hablando? Ajá, ¿cuál está leyendo? Tener, tener sentido de pertenencia. Ah, belonging. Ah, de, uh, belonging. Belonging. Peluchín, ¿y dónde está eso? Belonging. Have a saying of belonging. Belonging. Es el servicial. How the pronunciation. Of what? Servicial. Helpful. Be helpful. Helpful. Los mandé bien grandotes porque hay un montón de gente que, que no está. Es que yo, por ejemplo, teacher, yo no, vi, no estuve ayer, entonces no lo he perdido todavía. Ah, oiganlo, yo tampoco, y aquí estoy. Queriéndome despertar. Una tirosa. Oiga, ¿cómo me trata este compañero? Háblame en inglés para no entenderte. You are liar. Liar, liar. No, no estuve, en serio. <risa> Ayer no estuvo. Sí, no. Estuvo. Ajá, yo, o sea, ya, me siento ya, como ya. las cabritas de Heidi ahorita. <risa> no, porque es nueva clase, ¿verdad, Tichi? ¿Ah? Es sí. nueva clase, no es lo mismo de ayer. Es a new class, a new topic. Hoy entiendo a Luis como por qué sufre tanto. Ay, <risa> <risa> no. Okay. A ver, quality is be. Billing to learning. No, pero recuerde, no. qualities mm -hmm. of a good employee, not of a good student. Sí? The quality of a good employee. That's what you're discussing. 
What are the qualities of a good employee? Make a list of the qualities and then choose quality. the quality that you consider is essential to get a promotion. Yeah. Chrome, Chrome, how to solve the problem. Se las pilas, los dejo solitos para que se. Para que nos quite la pena. Posible. Hi, hi. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. ¿Qué dice Luis? Y ordenado, no, no, no. Eh, por ejemplo, poner organiz, organiz, organizado. Organizado. Sí, organizado. Organ claro, organize. Organize. Organize, vaya. Vamos a ver qué más. Veamos. Ay, Claudia. Que sea así como un buen trabajador. <risa> Que tenga iniciativa. Pero, what do you mean by good worker? What do you mean? Proactivo. Proactive. Escriban todo Proactive. eso. Ah. Escriban todo eso, because you're making a list, right? Proactive. Proactive. Yeah. Claudita Proactive. les está Proactive. diciendo cosas en el chat también. Claudia. Proactive. Ay, perdón. ¿Quién es Claudia? Ahorita lo veo. Claudia Carolina está trabajando. Ah, perdón. Ah, es que lo puse para todo, ¿verdad? Ah, ah sí. Todos. No, solo para todos los de este grupo. Nosotros. Ah, ok. Para todos, pero... No había visto a Claudia Carolina, <risa> perdón. Claudia Carolina está escondida, Luis. Ah, ok. Perdón, Ay. no la había visto. Eh, saqué me dio una duda. A ver, a ver. Que aquí está, yo entiendo eh, la palabra esta, skills. ¿Cuál? Ay, skill. Porque es, o sea, yo la he confundido. Uh -huh. eh, ah, no, es que Aquiles, ¿verdad? Aquiles, este, creo que refiere a algo con matar, ¿verdad? Aquil, pero ya skill, ya lo traduce no, no. diferente, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, skill es una cosa y kill es otra. Ah, pues yo estaba bien confundida. Porque skill, skill con S-K-I-L-L -L, has to be with uh -huh. the abilities. Abilities. What abilities do you have? Mm -hmm. Pregunta sí. rapidita, teacher. Ajá. ¿Hasta dónde tenemos que tener en, en la plataforma? Mañana tienen que tener terminada la unidad 3. Okay. No, Okay. Sí. Tú me ver. Ah, sí, sí, es tú, sí tienes razón, yo soy la que. Uh -huh. Sí, hoy sí, es la clase 14. 14. Okay. Sí. Okay. 14, 14. Vaya, ¿cómo van con las qualities? Ya estuvo. Y tenemos responsibility, punctuality, eh, re, really reable. Uh -huh. sí. Y solo se pronuncia. Ah, no. sí. Organize, proactive. Organize. Organize, proactive. Organize, organize. Organize. Creerán que aquí he agregado un gran montón de gente y ustedes están bien pobres aquí. Sí, un montón de gente son, quiero ver, son dos ahorita seis conmigo, o sea, tendrían que haber cinco aparte de, de Ayu y, y, y miren qué poquitos Teacher, y, y colabor, colaborator colaborative 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 sí, colaborative Mm -hmm. Maltes and <laughs> okay. Hi teacher. Hi. Hi teacher, I can see you. You cannot see me. I'm here. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about pets. And Adriana pets? Marcela has a dog. Ooh. His name is Capi and he's a mix of Maltes and Cocker. 
Oh. How is it? It's okay. little. Yeah. It's ah. a, it's little and it's very angry. And oh. it's a like, little bit. I like I like I like small dogs. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Because you can carry them like a baby. <laughs> yeah, but he is sick. Yeah. Uh, what like happened? a, like a, a month ago, uh -huh. a, the veterinarian, the vet, the veterinarian, yes. the vet said the vet said that he has a problem with his heart, mm -hmm. so he needs an operation that oh. doesn't make that that uh -huh, that didn't make don't make here in the country so it's very expensive and the only chance that he has he have is he has is with medicine to give him a better life pero que os pasa a los mascotas de esta vida verdad yes en nuestros tiempos las pobres mascotas no <laughs> se enfermaban del corazón <laughs> 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 Sí, vivían. Uh. Menos un aboqueiro, vea. Sí, de yet abocado, de yet mango, de yet beans, tortilla sola. No, pero I mean, on, eh, menos it going to be sick a perrito aboqueiro. A ah, los aguacateros, sí. Here is. <laughs> oh, cosita. Oh, ah, no, it's not little. Yes, it is. No. 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 No, I like the dogs love. like that. Small and hairy. Small and small hairy. And? And hairy. Oh. Hairy, peludo. Hairy like, like peludo. Uh -huh. Exactly, hairy. And do you have a pet teacher? I have a do you I have, have a two cats. Cats. Only cats. I have two cats. I love I used, I used so... to have a periquito, but it died. <laughs> Oh, now I, I have, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. Periquito. But I have two cats. One came about a month ago. Well, at the beginning of the course, it came to the ceiling and my daughters got it from there. Because it was, I don't know how that cat got to the ceiling. And how, and how old is the cat? It, it is about three months. It's a baby. Yes. I, that's why I say I don't know how it got to the ceiling. Because it was in the ceiling. Well, in, in the roof outside, right? In the roof. And it was crying and crying and crying. We said there is a cat, a little cat. Because <laughs> and the next day again. At, but it was like about 5.36, it started to cry again. And my daughter said, mommy, it's a baby. And my cat was crazy going up and down the stairs. Meow, 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 because the little cat was meow, meow. Then my daughter said, no, I'm going to go to the roof and I'm going to get it. So she got the cat. Now we have two. Well, yeah, right. because we went around the neighborhood asking, is this your cat? Is this your cat? And they said, no, 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 no. They said, like, how did it get to the roof? Because it was not in front of the house. It was on the top. It was on the roof. So, well, we um, said, now we have two cats. Hmm. We adopted yes. the baby. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> and her name is Chiki. Chicky, it's a little girl. So oh. we we already made the appointment with the vet to to operate here oh. within a moment. So she doesn't have baby. Oh. Right? 
right. Because there are many cats here in the but next dish, a lot of cats. And don't you are don't you are don't you have to wait for six months? Yes. But we made the appointment uh, already because it always takes time. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. In the foundations where they operate, they always take like, okay, they give you the appointment for two, three months or more. Yeah, it's okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we already made the appointment in the Chivo wallet. So she, in the Chivo wallet, in the Chivo pet. So she has her appointment for September. Oh my God. So it's very far, right? <clears throat> if we find a foundation that can operate it cheaper, we will take it there. But no, it's a little bit expensive. No, but in the in a in a foundation, it's $35. <gasps> mm -hmm. But it's a little cheap. Uh -huh. It's $35 because with the others, my cat has five babies. So when they were big, we operate the five. That was 35 each where, of them. Where? But that foundation where we took them, it's a, for them to give you that price is you have to have at least three cats because mm -hmm. they count it like a rescue cat. This is a rescue cat, but we don't have evidence to tell them, look, we rescued it. Like, <laughs> please charge just $35. We don't have evidence that we have rescued the cat. So the price is expensive. It's more than $100. But if we find a foundation, for example, in these days, there is one promotion. There will be one, there is one foundation operating cats and it's $35, but the baby is not ready for that yet. Yes, you have to so wait. We have to wait at least two or three more months. Mm -hmm. Because it's a baby, it's very little. It's Anna, and do you have pets? Yes, we have mm -hmm. two pets, one dog and one cat. Oh, wow. uh, our dog is a... Um, it, what it's called? Labrador. <laughs> Labrador. 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 Take a salchicha and it was a baby, but we oh. take a salchicha and we gave her a uh, food. And since that day, she came every day to our house. And one day, uh, we decide to know we're gonna pick her up and bring her a home. <laughs> <laughs> and... Now you have two pets. That's, that's nice. I like cats. I like cats. I, pr I prefer dogs. I really, really prefer dogs. My mom uh, has two dogs. One, two, two girls. Uh, one is a Siberian Husky, and the other one is a Rottweiler. The Rottweiler only has one month, but it's very, very, very cute. Very big. Is it big? Yes, right. Rose Wilder. Yeah. Yes, but only <laughs> she only have has one month. So it's ah, right it's now it's, uh, it's a baby. So, yeah. She can be friendly or a she puppy. Can be young, depending on how you teach her, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's nice, nice, nice. Bueno, chicos, me los llevo yo. Let's go. Okay, teacher. Let's go. Let's go. It was nice talking about pets. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Let's see. Seven. Uh -huh. A ver, what are, what are some qualities 
what qualities of, of a new of a good employee? What qualities do you think a good employee needs to have? Hmm? We were mm -hmm. talking about it and we said that uh, first you have to love what you do. Uh -huh. Number two, have knowledge. Number three, have commitment. Definitely. Um, number four, responsibility. Number five, experience. Definitely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A ver. Uh, David, what other qualities can you add to the ones Anna mentioned? Is the um, respect. Uh -huh. The one moment, please. I watch the list. Mm -hmm. What else? Is the proactive? Uh huh. Responsible. Responsible. Okay. Responsible. Eh, integro que no sé al final cómo se decía. Integrity. Integrity. Should have integrity. Yes. Uh -huh. Honest. Okay, there we go. It has to be honest, definitely. I want to hear another group. Let's see. A ver, eh, José Alfredo, tell me. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Mm -hmm. José Alfredo, hello. Nos perdemos. A ver. Eh, ok. Vaya. Uh, qualities of a good employee are, bueno, be responsible, responsible, being responsible or responsibility. Uh -huh. Responsibility, punctuality, uh, organize, proactive, organize, 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 uh, communication skills, problem. Solving solution skill Pro problem solving, solving. Okay. Mm -hmm. solving skill uh team works and collaborative collaborative definitely okay <clears throat> remember we have two words right collaboration and cooperation and the two are very necessary in a teamwork very good a ver group number four what you're going to tell me, which is the characteristic that you consider essential of all the ones that your partners mentioned and the ones that you have, which is the most essential characteristic to get a promotion? Mm -hmm. Beatriz, Carolina, Grace, Karen, or Nudia. One from group number four. Yes, yes. Honestly. Honestly. Confidence. <clears throat> Confidence. But the essential, the essential, only one. Which do you consider is the essential characteristic to get a promotion? Responsibility. Responsibility. Okay. Hey, continue training. Sí, pero solo una. ¿Cuál es la que ustedes creen que es essential? Essential to get a promotion. ¿Por cuál característica yo me merezco una promotion? Por ¿Mm? uh, la continua trainee, because that allows you to further develop uh, the skin you really. Ok. Okay. So that means that if somebody continues training, continues learning, continues studying, 
to get a promotion. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh -huh. But I think that it could be important uh, the leadership that the person could have mm -hmm. and the trato. The uh, way the way that, uh, that the person the other. Uh, uh, yes, exactly. For mm -hmm. me, that is important. For me. Okay, okay. Anna wanted to add to something, me, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think that if you love what you do, you are always interested in focus in be in being passion in you always have to be the best as you can in trying to learn about what you do so if you love what you do this is the and, and you should, in every single moment that you do your work uh, this is one uh, important thing thing okay. because okay. you can you can have a knowledge you can have experience you can be responsible but but only you will do only a uh, cumplir just to comply with the compromise yes in to do uh, a better thing you you have to be passionate about it okay passionate that would be passionate okay great great you see, each group mentioned something different, right? Something different. And all of those characteristics that you mentioned are valid to get a promotion, okay? So you're able, you are capable of doing a job because you have the preparation for that, nice. Uh, another, you're passionate to, for that, right? So what happens? It, with those things that you need to do. Another one uh, that Adriana mentioned, you know how to treat people, how to direct people. So you, you're a good leader, nice. You have the knowledge, you have the experience, you know how to lead people and you're passionate. Ooh, ahí está todo, right? Okay, nice chicos. But ya pues, let's see. I'm going to share the conversation with you. Let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at the conversation. We have conversation between Pedro and Max. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Reject. Reject. <laughs> okay, now repeat after me. Good morning. This is... Mr. Pedro Reject. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Pedro. Mr. Pedro Reject. Good morning, Mr. Reject. This is Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Refer. This is Max, Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Max. Hola. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. I, I would hold, like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Oh, what kind of information do you need? Okay. What kind of information do you need? Do you need? We are checking uh, on some references. We're planning to promote him as a manager. We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote We're planning to promote him as a manager. Karencita tiene problemas allí con su, con su audio. Cheque, 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 cheque. No sé si es un ventilador o algo que suena por allí. Sí, me voy a alejar un poco. Ya hace calor. 
o, o es que estamos allá en el, en el viento. Ah. <ríe> A ver, Mr. Sánchez, does not have any warnings. Mr. Sánchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he's responsible. The feedback we had about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at the managerial position? I see. Do you consider he has what, what is required at a managerial position? Okay, one more time. Good morning. This is Pedro. This is Mr. Mr. Pedro Rijet. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rijet. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from Human Resources. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mr. Mauricio Sanchez. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? Okay, what kind of information do you need? We check in on some references. We're planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and he and the feedback we have about him from the supervisor is that he's responsible. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at the managerial position? I see. Do you consider he has what he is required at a manager position? Okay, now I'm Pedro Jurmax. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Reject. Good morning, Mr. Reject. Good morning, Mr. Jet. This is Max from EHR. Have you have you? Hi Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information? We're checking on some references. We're planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. I see. Do you consider he has what is required as a managerial position? I see. Do you consider he has what is required a managerial position? Okay, now it's time for you to practice the conversation. I'm going to send you to the rooms. Uh, you practice the conversation. Remember, uh, first you practice the conversation a couple of times and then you answer the questions. Okay. I'm going to make 10 groups for you to go practice in pairs. There you go. Questions. Questions. <coughs> no questions. No questions. But <laughs> Vaya, ya vamos. I'm going to be around watching you check in.
Regid. Good morning, Mr. Regid. This is Mas from HR. How can I help you? Hi. Hi, Mas. I would like, like to would like. Have, uh, I would, would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? Where? Chicken. Que chino, perdón. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, hi, Jonathan. Jonathan, hello. Jonathan. No está tampoco. Hello, teacher, yo no sé si Karen no está. No ha dicho nada, ¿verdad? Karen Elena. No solo está de oyendo, no sé si está trabajando. Vamos a ver. Ya se la cambio. ¿Qué room es este, Beatriz? Ah, el 8. El 8. A ver si se viene acá. José Alfredo, estoy llamando, a ver si acepta. Bueno, y, y José Alfredo lo llamo para acá y no hace caso. Voy a ir a ver. José Alfredo solito está hablando. Ah, ya lo estoy llamando a un grupo y no se me quiso unir. Ahí está. Ah, y... Yo va de gritarle y gritarle, José Alfredo. Y no. <risa> Teacher, perdón. Es Riéndose que esta cosa ahora me está solito, lo fui a hallar, Beatriz. Riendo <risa> solo. Es que tiene rato de estarse riendo solo. Es que estaba contestando un mensaje y quería buscar el manual también. Y es yo ando en los contestos. ¿Se acuerda? No. Pero así cree? tiene rato, rato, rato. <risa> De estarse riendo solo. Por eso no, por eso no contestaba el llamado. Por eso no se unía al grupo, por estarse riendo solo. No, teacher, como cree, es bueno reírse. Más al cierre del día. Eso es verdad. Vaya, eh, ¿qué página era, Ay, teacher? Oscar, Mauricio. Surprise. ¿Cuál? 35. Oh. Está. Hasta, hasta tatarateando comenzó. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bye. I am Pedro and you Max. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Bridget. Good morning, Mr. Bridget. This is Max. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esas dos letras? Espérenme. 
Espérenme. ¿Cuál es tus letras? La H, H la M. Resourcing. Human resources. That's human resources, sí. Human resources. Ok, good morning, Mr. Bridget. This is Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Que siempre, we are. We are. Jonathan no respondió, ¿verdad? Hola, hola. Aquí estoy. Le a Jonathan y no me respondía. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ya despertó. Estaba, es que en la otra sala estaba con una compañera y creo que ella está desconectada. Sí, no, y por eso es que yo le hablaba para ver si usted estaba activo, porque Joana creo que está, está trabajando. Estaba, estaba con Carla, creo. No, con Joana estaba usted. Ah, vaya. Sí. Pero Joana está trabajando. Me tocó turno ahora, quizás, porque creo que en una clínica es que trabaja. Ahí han dado guachando los que estén con alguien que les responda, porque tengo seis, siete gentes inactivas. Y ya iba a agregar a Jonathan entre los inactivos del día. De hecho, ayer, yo creo que ayer estuve inactivo yo. Sí. Ayer cuando me uní, yo no, no veía qué hacer, así que me tuve que desconectar. No, hombre, qué triste. Vaya, sigan pues. Continúe con la Practice, Ian Pedro. Max. Ajá, en, lo que en Pedro. Pedro. Uh -huh. We are we are checking on some ah, okay. Hi teacher. Hi. Como you finished. You finished? Ah. Yes. Wow. Wow, wow. Flachitos le voy a poner a usted dos. <risa> Flachitos. Y anda todavía allá viendo que quiénes están, están pero no están. No, nosotros sí. Porque de repente allá los pobres llamando y, y el otro no le contestan. Ay, no. <risa> Did you answer the questions too? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, vaya, vaya, pues. Vámonos entonces, niños. Okay, thank you. you. Finish. Let's go. I will need volunteers to read the conversation, but, but, but before I'm going to call attendance, okay? Vamos a ver. Pacha. Okie dokie. I estamos. Tell me present, right? Adri, Ana, Marcela. Present teacher. Uy, no han venido todos o se me perdieron en el limbo. Vamos a ver. Veo bien poquito. Oh, por allá vienen. Ya casi, 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 casi. Y se pe... Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ya muy bien, ya llegaron toditos. Allá. A ver, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Edwin. Present teacher. Elvin. 
Grace Mitchell. Present, teacher. Joanna. I'm here, teacher. Present. Jonathan. Present. Jose Alfredo. Present, teacher. Karen Elena. Present, teacher. Karen Janet. Present, teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present, teacher. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Carla Patricia. Present, teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present, teacher. Luis Mauricio. Uy, no está Luis. Nubia. No Present está Luis, teacher. ¿verdad, An, eh, Rosy? No, teacher, no está. Ok. Nubia. Present, teacher. Rosy. Present. David. Present, teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present, teacher. Beatriz. Present, teacher. Ok, perfect. Vaya. Ok, bueno. I would like to listen to a couple of volunteers uh, sharing the pronouns, the conversation, and then, and then we will check the questions. Volunteers or victims? Me, me, teacher. Okay, Karen Stephanie, con quien? Karen Stephanie, con su compañerito de fórmula. Ana. ¿Con quién estuvo? Con Ana. 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 La acabo de escuchar. Sí. Bueno, si no cualquiera. Vaya, con Carla Patricia. Ok. Ahí am. Le levantó la mano. Carla Patricia ya está activa, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Bye. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rajet. Good morning, Mr. Rajet. This is Max from HR. Human Resources. So can I help you? Human Resources. Uh, from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. 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 I see. Responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a manager managerial position? Is all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think? <laughs> Does he have what he needs for a managerial position? Probably, yes, probably no. Two more volunteers. Diego and me, teacher. Okay. I'm gonna start. Good morning, this is Mr. Pedro Rijek. Good morning, Mr. Rijek. This is uh, Max from Human Resource. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some refer reference? Reference. reference, reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have a, any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor, it is that he's just responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Okay. 
Yes, right, yes, I think so. Okay, very good. Nice, nice. Now let's see. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Responsibly. Responsible. Responsible. He's responsible. What else? Responsible. What else? A bar to being responsible. Only responsible. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Uh -huh. Only one quality, just responsible. Maybe he is leadership. Leadership. According to the conversation. Maybe he is efficient and friendly and honesty. Okay. Mm -hmm. He has no warnings, right? Mm -hmm. But a conversation is only, how do you say? Only responsible. Solo dice que es responsable. Responsible. Respons Ajá, responsable. Responsible. Aunque lo vean que lleva sibo, pero se pronuncia sabo. Responsible. Mm -hmm. okay. Una conversación. Okay. Only responsible. And what is the new role of Mr. San what is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? Is your manager. 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 Yeah. He will be a manager. What do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current job or current role? What's his role right now? I think Mr. Sanchez's Maybe. current role is a supervisor. A supervisor? Yes. Maybe a supervisor. Mm. Mm. No. Bueno, disculpe que, que le digan en español, pero ahí dice la conversación que el supervisor dice que el señor Sánchez es responsable. Ajá, ajá. Dice que dice, no me equivoco. Si él tiene señor... supervisor, no es supervisor, ¿verdad? Ajá, él ¿Terminera? tiene supervisor porque dice que es... Porque al supervisor nadie lo supervisa. Ajá. So, el supervisor es que él, él dice que el supervisor dice que él es responsable y que va así así dice so, no dice ahí no dice que coordinator qué queda más arriba el coordinator o el supervisor el supervisor si si hacemos la 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 el manager Vaya, ponemos aquí al manager. Suponiendo, ah, ser, suponiendo que es manager. vertical. A ver, el manager acá. Y después del manager, ¿quién sigue? Ah, no. Si lo vamos así, un ejemplo. Si lo vamos en cuestión un ejemplo, de, re, vertical, de restaurant. Lo vamos a hacer vertical. De restaurant. Primero es el supervisor, después sigue el manager ¿Mm? y después sigue el asistente. No. El manager es el top. Manager is top. Sí. Es el mero. No, director no. es the boss. Uh -huh. Director, el director está arriba del manager. Vaya pues. El, su, el director o presidente, right? The, the principal, digamos. Vaya, we have the principal, the subprincipal, si es que hubiera, the manager, después del manager, ¿qué sigue? Supervisor. Y después del Asistente. supervisor.
el supervisor le reporta al manager. Yes. Coordinator. El coordinator va después del supervisor. Yes. Depende. En mi, organ en mi organigrama, sí. Depende. En la empresa donde yo trabajo, el coordinador coordina y manda aún a los supervisores. Ah, ok. Que los supervisores le, 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 le reportan a él. Ok. En my case, teacher es de manager, supervisor, and coordinator. Really, al revés. Yes. Apuntamos al revés, no, no, no. Vamos a ver, aquí tenemos la asamblea de socios, right? The board of directors, then the, man the general manager, and then we have the different departments. You have the administrative department. Ay, se me perdió, pero aquí está. The admin in the administrative department, the commercial department, and the operations department. In the administrative department, you have the accounting and all, all the things, right? Aha, pero aquí no hay ni coordinador ni supervisor. Vamos a buscar otro. Another type of company. So it will depend on the company, right? And how they, they divide it. Mm -hmm. But this one, we have a principal, a general principal, then different principals like the director financiero, de producción, de recursos humanos de almacén y de ahí a los empleados, ahí no hay supervisor, right? Mm -hmm. So it will depend on the company. Some companies have supervisors, others have coordinators, some have principals, others have managers. It depends on the type of company that, that you have. And remember that, for example, some other departments are uh, like this, vertical, right? So it's not like a, a complete person that has all the authorization. Patch, okay? Bueno, entonces. ¿Qué puesto le ponemos? ¿Qué le ponemos aquí entonces al don Sánchez? Is he an employee? Empleado normal. Could be. He's more easy employee. ¿Verdad? De, de employee va a subir a manager. O sea, va a pasar sobre... No, es que no vamos a pedir juegos de 10 porque no tenemos 10 integrantes en cada equipo ahorita constante, sino que solo vamos a pedir de eh, lo mucho ocho uniformes. Ok, vaya. Y yo ya le estaba poniendo, ah, no tenemos diez integrantes, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer con él? <ríe> vaya, let's see. Ok, so we have the principal, the manager, supervisor, employees, 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 right? Don Sergio. So, sí, pero el, el, los consejos son employees también, ¿verdad? Así es que allí nos quedamos en employees. Entonces, ¿Ustedes creen que de, de employee pasará a manager? Se puede. Sí. En mi en my case, en, my, en mi estructura no se puede. ¿Verdad? Tendría que subir a supervisor yes. y después de, a coordinator. Ir a la escalerita. Ajá, o tendría que estar en un nivel acá de coordinador, suponiendo que el coordinador esté arriba del supervisor para que de aquí suma. Pero el supervisor no tendría por qué estar reportando lo que él hace. 
So that's Maybe. that's why that's why I say he should be an employee. ¿verdad? The employee uh, only the the app is the supervisor in the yes and the the yes can mm -hmm. in esa estructura solo podría llegar a supervisor no podría saltarse uno no porque podría sino, saltarse a manager de un solo ni a coordinador Pero, si estuviera bajo manager exactly <laughs> pero hay otra situación y área. Póngale que, que el coordinator está por áreas, digamos, ¿verdad? El coordinator estaría arriba del supervisor. Entonces el supervisor no podría estarlo evaluando al coordinator. Y si el coordinator está abajo del supervisor, tampoco podría saltarse al supervisor para llegar a manager. Algo enredado. Uh -huh. Or depending on the company, you think it is possible that an employee goes to manager? De un solo? David says in his company, that's not possible. No what, possible. About in, what about in the other companies? Is that possible? It's possible. It's possible, possible, Oscar. In your company, that's possible. It's possible. Okay. What about the others? What do you think? In in my work, work is not possible. This is at a managerial position. No, this is as a manager. ¿Verdad? Mm. What do you understand by, ma by managerial position? Porque le están preguntando referencia a él y el supervisor dice que, que él es responsable. Y le quieren ascender a gerente. Fíjense que como managerial position no necesariamente va a subir a ser el gerente general. Puede subir a ser un operations manager, un project manager, un financial manager, facilities manager, human resources manager. Okay, esos son los que están en la managerial positions. Puede ser que como empleado suba a ser un project manager. Y siempre sea supervisado por el supervisor. In, in that case, that would be possible. Porque no subiría tanto hasta allá arriba, subiría hasta, hasta aquí. De estar aquí, subiría aquí. ¿Verdad? Dentro de la managerial eh, position que tenga el supervisor siempre checking what he's doing, but instead of just being an employee, he could be okay, a project manager, for example. So he will, that means he will be in charge of a project. Or he will be moved to human resource position, right? So not jumping to the manager, va jumping ar arriba de todos los demás employees un poquito siempre dependiendo del supervisor. Could that be? Right? Y that is because we say eh, that he will be considered for a managerial position but no for becoming the manager. Right? Probably later after being here as a okay, as a project manager, he will become the supervisor and going jumping, finally the manager and then the principal. Little by little. Okay. Vaya. So 
<laughs> what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current job or current role? Probably, probably after our all our assumptions, we will say that Mr. Sanchez is an employee. <clears throat> okay. Vaya, pues. Let's okay. go. Let's go to the next exercise. Check. In the in the platform, as you were working yesterday, I was checking uh, some of you asking about this exercise. You're using the present progressive. And remember, uh, sometimes it can give you a mistake if you forget the verb to be. See, when we use the present continuous, we have to use the verb to be and the verb in ing form. See, that's something very important. Remember to use the verb to be depending on the subject, you can use are or is or am, right? I, I am. And then the other verb in the ing form. There are some rules that you need to remember related to that. And is that, for example, eh, when we talk about the verbs, for example, plan, if we have a consonant, vowel consonant, we are going to double the consonant and then we add agent, see? But that is because I have consonant, vowel, consonant. So if I have consonant, vowel, consonant, I double the consonant, pero the last one, right? The last consonant, and then I add ing. For example, shop is the same case. See? Shop. Consonant, vowel consonant. It doesn't matter if I had two consonants before, right? But if I have here consonant, vowel consonant, I'm going to double, double the consonant, and then I add ing. See, chopping, chopping with double p. Okay, so. Present continuous, I need to use the verb to be in present and then the other verb in the ing form. Do you have questions about this structure? Hmm? No, it's clear. It's very easy, right? This is a very easy structure. Right, let's move to the exercise. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to write sentences using the present progressive forms of the verbs in parentheses. You decide the subject, right? So you say, I am planning to take a vacation next month. Ah, que galán, <laughs> I'm planning a new project for next week. Or oh, my boss is planning a new project for for the coming month, you decide. Remember, you're using the present progressive and remember that when we use the present progressive, we can use, or we can be talking about the present or we can talk about the future, right? So you can use both. What will make the difference? The expression of time that you use, yes? That's what we are, uh, that's going to make the difference. If you're using the expression of time for the present, for the present, you're going to use for the present, You are going to use now, right now,
at the moment, in this moment. At the moment. See, that is if you're talking about the present. That means talking about something that is happening right now. Yeah? If you're talking about something that is happening right now, you are using these expressions. Now, right now, or at the moment. But if you're talking about the future, you can use expressions of time that we use to talk about a near future. For example, tonight. No next year, that's too far, right? Tonight, tomorrow. Next weekend. Yes. Teacher, excuse me, I lost a little bit. Tell me. Tell me, Anna. If I am talking in present progressive, I am going to add now, right now, at the moment, mm -hmm. at the end of the sentences. Sí. But I don't get it if it. If you're talking about the future. If it's in the future, I, can I use. Vaya. The present uh -huh. continuous Can I use present progressive in... for talking about the future. Vaya, check it. El present progressive, quizás le voy a agregar una página aquí. El present progressive is used for talking about three different things. Vamos a ver, insertar paginita. Vaya, check. El present continuous no es solamente para lo que yo estoy haciendo ahorita. Lo vamos a usar para tres cosas completamente diferentes. Por ejemplo, if we're talking about something, something happening at the moment of speaking. We speaking. If I'm talking about something that is happening at the moment of speaking, I say, I'm or I am I'm reading a book right now. Y por eso les decía, para hablar de present, su expresión es now, right now, or at the moment, right? I'm reading a book right now. I'm listening to Entonces, the birds. Entonces, teacher, no, no se puede usar el, el pasado inmediato. Por ejemplo, en la segunda dice call. No podría decir I was calling my mom for cell phone. It's not right. La oración está correcta, pero como las instrucciones son que ocupe el present continuous. Ahí me está. Pero no está usando ahí el call. Sí. Pero ¿qué le están pidiendo que ocupe? El present progressive. ¿Ya? Entonces, oh, ay, ajá. Yo, le están pidiendo que ocupe el present progressive, no que ocupe el, el, el simple past. ¿Verdad? Vamos a mover esto aquí un poquito. Va, cheque. Okay. ¿En qué? En... Piche, ahí el... Piche. Hola, hola. Ahí el verbo... 
no sería en esto es sería de ponerle los verbos ing sí Ahí le puse un ejemplo no sé si es así sí. aquí está con el ing y siempre tiene que ocupar el verbo to be no puede vaya cambiémosle aquí pongámosle chi y es dependiendo dependiendo la persona, dependiendo del subject, primera exacto. segunda o tercera persona exacto si usted está usando el, el, el subject I, va a decir I am. I am reading a book right now. Si usted está usando el he, he is. O she, she is. They are. They are listening to the bird singing at the moment. ¿Ya? Ahora, ¿qué sucede? Que el present, el present continuous lo usamos también para hablar sobre algo que está pasando around now. Around now. ¿Qué sucede con el around now? Usted me dice que está haciendo algo que está, eh, por ejemplo, si me dicen, I am learning English. Right now, ahorita usted pueden decir, I am learning English right now. I am studying English right now. Pero, imagínese que yo me lo encuentro caminando por allá en la calle y le pregunto, eh, hey, what are you doing? Y usted me dice, I'm learning English these days. No está pasando en el momentito como en este otro. De pues momento. No está pasando en el momentito en el que está hablando, pero está pasando cuando decimos around now es en el tiempo alrededor de, 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 del momento en que estoy viviendo. Entonces usted dice, um, you know what, I'm, I'm reading an English book. I'm reading an English book this week. ¿Sí? Sí, que esta me... hey, ¿Qué está haciendo? Ah, esta semana estoy leyendo un libro en inglés. En el momento anda paseando ahí en el parque. Pero en estos días, en estos días, y por eso es que decimos around now, ¿verdad? En estos días está leyendo un libro en inglés. Y usamos el present continuo. ¿Y qué has hecho? ¿Y qué estás haciendo? Ah, yo estoy estudiando inglés, ¿verdad? Que así decimos en español. Entonces, cuando nos expresamos en inglés, pasa igual. I'm learning English. ¿Lo está haciendo en el momento en que está hablando? No, pero lo está haciendo en estos días. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahí podemos usar el present continuous. ¿En qué otro momento usamos el present continuous? Lo usamos también to talk about a near future. O le decimos también Future arrangements. ¿Qué son los future arrangements? Cuando usted ya tiene algo que está en un futuro tan cercano, cercano, eh, gracias. Un futuro tan, 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 tan cercano que usted ya tiene todo listo. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I'm traveling. Disculpen que ocupo solo I, ¿verdad? Pero ahí ustedes ya saben que podemos usar cualquiera. I, you, he, she, whatever. I'm traveling next week. ¿Sí? I'm traveling next week. Y como estoy hablando del futuro, la expresión de tiempo que yo voy a ocupar es del futuro. Aquí que estoy hablando de, del Around now, lo que está pasando aquí cerquita de, de estos días, eh, las expresiones cambian. Si yo estoy hablando de algo que estoy haciendo exactamente en el momento en que estoy hablando, 
Entonces ocupo right now, now o at the moment. ¿Sí? Pero si mi idea es utilizarlo como futuro, para hablar del futuro, usted puede decir, Ana is having a party next Saturday. Yes. Ana is having a party next Saturday. ¿Por qué ocupo is having? Porque ya tiene todo listo, la comida, las invitaciones, el local, todo. Entonces estamos hablando de un near future o de un future arrangement. Cuando hablamos de arrangements, es, todo está programado, está arreglado, está hecho, listo, listo, listo. Pero se trata de un futuro cerquita, ¿verdad? Entonces en ese caso yo ocupo el, el present continuous. No digo Ana will have a party next Saturday. O Ana is going to have a party next Saturday. No, yo allí puedo ocupar el present okay. continuous porque estoy hablando de un futuro cerquita y de un futuro ya planeado y listo. Is that clear for you? Is, ay, ¿Cómo explicarle? ¿Cómo decirle? Este tema sería de la clase 13, del ejemplo de la clase, del, del ejemplo que le, que le estaba preguntando ahora, porque estaba. Ajá, exacto. Yo estaba dando, estaba dando vía. ¿sí? sí. Que no sí. hallaba con. ¿no? Sí. Next. Sí, el asunto es que como nosotros vamos siguiendo el plan que nos dejan, ¿verdad? Entonces. Uh -huh. es... Ah, pues ya, después me. Ajá, Ajá. Le, eh, por, me, por... me guié por lo que me dijo que. Ajá, pero cuando yo vi yo, eh, si sí, este es del present continuous. Uh -huh. Sí. Vale, pero ¿alguna question acá? Está fácil. No, no question. No, no, question. Question, no question. Vaya, pues. Vamos a, next, a next, vamos a hacer next, los exercises porque next, fíjense next. que este justo lo que comentaba este Oscar en el tema que aparece en la plataforma el ejercicio que les han puesto para ahora es del simple past del verbo to be entonces quiero ir a, a, a tocar eso porque sale, ahí hay ejercicios del verbo to be en el simple past, ¿verdad? en la tarea 14, y en la 15 también, el simple past del verbo to be, pero questions. Ok. Así es que hagamos este ahorita y después nos vamos a ir a estudiar el verbo to be en past. Ok. okay. Ahí, remember, <coughs> Remember, you decide, right? You decide how you want to use uh, the verb. If you want to talk about an action that is happening at the moment, or if you want to talk about an action that is happening around now, or if you're talking about the future. Mm -hmm. You have the three options. Ahorita. Questions, questions? No questions. No questions. Teacher, can you share the, the page that you make the examples, please? Sure. Vamos a ver si tengo abierto. Mi WhatsApp acá. Ok. Ok. 
Pacha Chipang. Teacher. Excuse me, it's okay if I say she's calling to the doctor at the moment. Sí, she's calling at the doctor. At the moment? Sí, 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 it's okay. And I am planning the birth, the, I am planning the, my daughter's birthday party now. Yes. Yes, that's okay. Very nice, very nice. Teacher. Hola. Y se podría decir usando la primera o ese plan, plan es de plan, de, plan, de planear. Eh, como yo, yo plan, plan. I plan, I plan for day y do, y do go for a uh, walk. I'm planning to go to work. A planning, a planning to go the, to work early. Oh. I'm planning to go to work early tomorrow. No, pero si yo, un ejemplo, yo lo estoy pensando de hoy que va, yo planeo o, o yo planeo, yo planearía no, es salir a caminar estoy hoy. Planeando. Ajá, estoy planeando. Estoy planeando. Uh -huh. Estoy planeando. Salir a caminar. Estoy planeando salir a caminar. Ajá. I'm planning to go for a walk. Planning. Sí. Planning. Or oh, I am planning. planning travel to Europa. ¿Mm? Ahí le agrego la, ahí le agrego la ING. ¿no? Exactly. Ok.
Finished. Okay, perfect, perfect. Finished, teacher. Finish. Bye. Everybody finished? Yes, teacher. No yet. Mm -hmm. A ver, who wants to share sentence number one? Me. I am planning to go to the beach in June. Okay, I'm planning to go to the beach in June. Very good. Another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Yes, Nubia. Andrea is planning to go to San Francisco next month. Nice. Nice, nice. Very good. Who wants to make one with coal? Coal? Uh, me, teacher. Me, teacher. My office, me, teacher. <laughs> pacha, pacha. Who will be the first one? Me, teacher. My mother is calling me on the phone. Okay, nice. My mother is calling me on the phone. Nice, Beatrice. Rosie? I am calling to ask for information. Mm, nice. Y había un niño también. ¿Quién era Oscar o Diego? Me. Okay, Oscar, go ahead. For example, uh, she, she worried, worried, I, I, call, calling, calling Maria tomorrow. She is calling. She is calling. Porque necesita el verbo to be. She is sí. calling. Calling. She is calling Maria tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She's calling okay. Maria tomorrow. Nice. Luis Nolasco. Hi, Luis. Luis. Luis Elgarto, ¿verdad? Okay. A ver, check. Joana. He's checking the reservation at the moment. Okay, nice. David, check. We are checking uh, the plane. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Janet, great. Uh, I am writing a song this month. Okay, nice. Wow, you're writing a song. Jose Alfredo, great. I'm writing the report. Okay, perfect. Rosy, no, Rosy ya me dijo, ¿verdad? Quiero ver quién me queda por aquí pendiente. ¿Me? ¿Quién ¿Me? dijo mí? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Claudia. Ok, Clau Claudia Carolina, send, Claudia Carolina. Uh, send. Um, I am sending painting for science. Okay, nice, nice. Let's see, Carla Lorena, no, todavía está trabajando. Carla Patricia, Sen. I visited my family on Saturday. You use it, visit. I'm visiting my family next Friday. Okay, Jonathan, next Sen. Saturday. Jonathan, está por allí. No está. Se nos perdió Jonathan. Carla Elena no está. Hello. Hello. Uh, I am sending a email card. I'm sending. I'm sending, perdón, sending. Se, se me olvidó. Y el, el ING. I'm sending. I am sending a email card. An email. Okay, I'm sending an email. Speak. Uh, 
speak volunteer volunteer Me. volunteer yes Anna he's speaking with the plumber right now okay nice one more volunteer for speak only one 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 we are speaking in English in class yeah nice now nice. very good but it's not fácil. yes teacher Now, yes, easy. vamos a empezar este hoy, 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 este de acuerdo al manual es present continuous, ¿verdad? El simple past del verbo to be, ya estuve yo guachando allí, eh, corresponde a la unidad 4. Pero como el ejercicio que tienen en la plataforma desde hoy hasta el fin del, un, del universo, hasta el fin del curso, es del verbo to be en pasado, por eso es que yo lo voy a mover acá para que no se me queden así como que, ¿qué, qué vamos a hacer? Ok, vamos a estar usando el verbo to be in past. Chequen. Con I, he, she, it. Vamos a usar was y con we, they, and you vamos a usar where. Ok. And then, eh, for example, the training. The training equivale a it, ¿verdad? Entonces usamos was. All the employees es como que yo dijera they, entonces usamos where. Entonces, it doesn't matter if you use a noun or a pronoun. Check. If the noun is singular, Usa was. If the noun is plural, you use where. ¿Ok? Singular. Aquí no existe como en el present simple, ¿verdad? El verbo to be, I am, he, she, she it is, we are, you are, they are. No. Aquí todos los singulares son was y todos los plurales son where. El pasado es un poco más simple. Y no, hay, no, no, no se complica tanto. ¿Verdad? Entonces yo sé, I was, I was at home yesterday. I was at home yesterday. He was busy in the morning. He was busy in the morning, chiqui. He was busy in the morning. Venga, 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 bebé. This is the baby, you see. She was lost last. Month. Vaya, say hello, Chiqui. Ella es la señorita no, Chiqui no, estrenando, no. estrenando ropa, ¿verdad? Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a baby. It's, it's only three months. But she's interested in everything. Yesterday she was here behind my table in the afternoon. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Go. La señorita Chiqui. She's the one who came along. Te vas a caer. She came, she came along. She was, right? They said, like she. ¿Por qué she, teacher? Si es un gato. It's my pet. Cuando usted habla de su mascota, ocupa It. chi. O he. Porque la mascota es parte de la familia. ¿Verdad? Entonces, with the pets, we use he o she. Si es un gato por allá en la calle que saber qué es, usamos it. But if we're talking about the pet, we use he o she. ¿Ok? Bye. So remember, singular was, plural were. So you say, it was difficult. Oh, no, it wasn't difficult. It wasn't difficult. We were not unwilling to help. What, what is unwilling? What is unwilling? No idea. Willing es como estoy deseando, pero unwilling es no estábamos no deseando, <ríe> ¿verdad? El, porque está en double negation, ¿no? Y un, un es opuesto. Gracio, dice. Sí. Renuncia. Es negativo. 
So you say, we weren't, we weren't unwilling to help. We weren't unwilling to help. O sea, que sí estaban deseando ayudar. ¿Verdad? We were willing to help. We weren't unwilling to help. It's a double negation. Y ya saben, en este caso, menos, menos, se vuelve que, según las reglas matemáticas, ¿verdad? Menos por menos da más. Lo mismo me pasa acá. Si yo tengo negative y negative, un negative mata al otro negative y mi, y mi oración al final tiene un significado positivo. Como que dijera, we, we were willing to help. We were willing to help or we were not unwilling to help. Okay. Teacher, Dígame. may I ask you? Tell me. Can I share the screen? Huh? May I share the screen? Uh, sure, sure, sure. In the 15 task, mm -hmm. it says that you can answer, give positive or negative answer, I assume that is my option. Say it positive or negative. You know I, why they are not correct, Anna? Te caíste. What is something that you should always put at the end of a sentence? A point? A period. Ah, perdón. Mm -hmm. A period. Este podría ser un motivo y el otro motivo es el de toda la vida, el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Que, que no le gusta el apóstrofe que nosotros ponemos y siempre la plataforma lo toca, toma mal. Veamos, sí. Déjelas todas en afirmativo para que se las tome buenas. Si se fija, las que puso aquí. La primera vez es en negativa y está bien. Ah, mire. Were you in a school? Ah, were you in a, were you in school yesterday? You. Were you in a school yesterday? No, I was. No, I so, was. Mm -hmm. I think in the first. Sí, was, la primera definitivamente no. está mala. Porque si le pregunto, uh -huh. was, I, was I late? Tendría que decirme no. You weren't, oh yes. You weren't, were. ajá, yo, yo puse you weren't en... Y se lo puso malo. Ajá. <ríe> sí, porque si yo sí. le pregunto, was I late? Usted me dice, no, teacher, you weren't. Right? Sí, sí, sí ahí definitivamente está mal. Uh -huh. Sí, if you put it in affirmative, you will see the difference. No, I... ¿Qué usamos con I? Was. Were you in a school? Yes, I. I was. Ajá, exactly. Yes, I was. Ay, ese no le gusta. Was the movie good? Here we are. Sí, es que no le gustan nuestros apóstrofes. Entonces, por eso siempre las pone malas. A ver. Sí, 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 sí Claudia, Carolina. Homework 15. ¿Qué pasó con el Homework 15? Vamos a ver. Ese era el problema, el que estaba. Ah, ese era el. Fi... No, pero ese ah, era el 15. El de la, la 13, teacher, eh, hay un problema en el question number 2. Se supone que ya lo arreglaron, me dijeron. Sí, ya está arreglado. Ah, Hoy le di es. yo save y, y ya aparece correcto. ¿Verdad? Ya está arreglado, ¿verdad? Ok, ok. Sí. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Ya, ya le pusieron el right now, el right, porque estaba, I'm writing a memo now, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita ya, ya está arreglado, para que diga I'm writing a memo right now. Uh -huh. 
Muy bien, muy bien. Vaya pues. Vamos a ver. I'm going to share with you a couple of examples. Check. I, I was or I wear? Was. Was. Uh -huh. I was in Paris. Your bike? Was new. Where? 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 How many bikes? One. Was bike? Was where? new. Ajá, where? your bike was where. Que no me los confunda que dice your bike. Your, dice your, tu bicicleta, no dice you. ¿Verdad? Entonces, tu bicicleta. So your bike, possessive, this is a possessive. No es el pronoun you, ¿verdad? Sino que es el possessive. Your bike was new. You? Where? You were at the cinema. Where? Where? You were at the cinema. His parents? Where? His parents were. Where at, porque es plural, ¿verdad? His parents were angry. Pacha. Easy. Mañana vamos a seguir hablando de, 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 del verbo tú, el pasado y el resto de la unidad cuatro. Ok. Pacha, pues, we finish here. Do you have any question? No questions. No, teacher, no questions. Ok, perfect. Vamos a ver, señorita Adriana. Adriana. Present teacher. Hola. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Nota. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Edwin. Present teacher. Elvin. Grace Mitchell. Señorita Michelle, no la vimos hoy. Joana. Present teacher. Jonathan. Here I am. Ok, José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. <laughs> Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Ah, qué bueno que logró volver. Luis Mauricio. Yes. Nubia. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. And Beatriz. Beatriz. No está Beatriz, se nos perdió. Bye, pues. See you tomorrow. Karen is good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Hi, hi, Karen. How are you? Oh, I am fine. Uh, when I am confused uh, because present progress and pass. Okay. ¿En lo que estábamos viendo ahorita? Sí, del, del verbo tuve. El verbo. Yes. Uh, porque, okay. bueno, en el present progress es como el, pro, el pronombre y el verbo. Pero cuando es en pasado, el verbo cambia de lugar. Es como si primero fuera como de lo que se está hablando. Y, y o el, perdón, el verbo. Yo pensé que el verbo progresivo solo era para el presente. Ah, ya, my. porque el ejemplo que dio puso training. Bueno, el ejemplo que está en el libro dice training. Ay, que este no es verbo. 
Aquí training no está como verbo. Aquí training está funcionando como noun. Estamos hablando de el entrenamiento, no entrenar. Ok. Entonces dice el entrenamiento fue de mucha ayuda. Right? Ajá. Entonces training aquí no está funcionando como... No está funcionando como... Como, como verbo. No que está funcionando. Entonces, para confirmar, teacher, el, el ING nunca va a ir con el, con el pasado, en una oración en pasado. ¿Cómo no? Usted puede decir, por ejemplo, I was playing. Yo estaba jugando. Así como hoy estaban usando el I am playing, ¿verdad? Que algo que está haciendo en el momento. Podría decir, I was playing. I was playing soccer. Pero entonces significaría que acabo de dejar de hacerlo, ¿no? Si está en pasado. Ajá. Sí, estaba jugando. Ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a reportar este... este. Ok, sí. Entonces, usted pudiera decir, yo estaba jugando. ¿Qué estabas haciendo? Estaba trabajando. I was working. Entonces, sí, claro, perfectamente. Usted puede usar el verbo to be. En este caso, porque lo estamos usando como presente simple. Donde estaba, yo estaba en la casa, estaba en el trabajo, estaba contenta, estaba... Entonces, eso. Pero usted perfectamente puede usarlo y esa estructura se llama past continuous. Es lo que estaba usted haciendo en un determinado momento. Por ejemplo, y le digo yo, ok, Karen, Stephanie, what were you doing at 7 p.m.? Que usted me dice, at 7 p.m., I was having dinner. dinner. Uh -huh. I was having dinner. Entonces, claro que sí puede hacerlo, ¿verdad? Pero eso ya es otra estructura. Ahí ya no es solamente hablar eh, del, prese, del simple past del verbo to be, sino que usar el verbo eh, past continuo. En este caso, we were in unwilling. No estábamos no deseando ayudar. Aquí se está usando el, pres, el past continuo. No estábamos, ¿qué? No deseando. Porque will es desear, ¿verdad? Es desear. Pero si usted dice, oh. we, weren't and, we weren't unwilling to help, pues no estábamos no deseando ayudar. ¿Verdad? Hay una doble negation. O sea, ¿qué podría decir? We were willing to help. Estábamos mm. deseando ayudar. No estábamos no deseando ayudar. ¿Right? Uh -huh. yeah. en paz continuo. Esta oración está en paz continuo. Todas las demás están en paz simple. Cuando usted ocupa el verbo to be, no importa si lo va a ocupar en present o past. Eh, el verbo to be lo ocupa con adjectives. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, si usted dice, it was difficult, it was dark, the training was helpful, that's an adjective. They were happy to attend. I was ready to go. Lo usamos con adjectives. También podemos usar el verbo to be para hablar de places. Entonces, cuando usted dice, I was at home. Hey, where were you yesterday? Ah, was at home. El verbo tuve más un lugar. 
I was at school. I was at work. Ok. Entonces, eh, y usted puede decir también, lo puede usar también como un now y decir, when I was 10 years old, I was a student. ¿Sí? I was a student. I was a secretary in 1992. I was. Se ocupa el I was. A student. Es como un noun. I was a student. ¿Sí? I was at home. El pronombre y el verbo to be y el adjetivo. Ajá. I was at home. I was happy. Okay. Y aquí puede decir I was happy. Entonces el verbo to be usted lo ocupa con un adjetivo, con un lugar o con un noun. ¿Verdad? Y ya, si quiere hacer una oración con el past continuous, entonces sí, ya va el verbo to be y el otro verbo en ing, así como las oraciones que estábamos usando del present continuous. Pero en vez de poner el to be en present, lo ponen pasado. Ok. Do you have any other question over there? No teacher is all. Ok. Vale, ahí solamente recuerde, para singular usamos was y para plural vamos a usar was. Mañana okay. vamos a seguir en detalle más con, con el verbo to be, igual la otra semana, ¿verdad? Mañana vamos a hablar okay. de las questions, porque son las que le vienen en el ejercicio de, de mañana. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good night. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow. You.